I can't believe I'm just shaking so much during this plate up. This is not like me. This is actually so much pressure. 10 seconds. I get another one. And in the last seconds, I get the stem into the apple. You okay. good? Yeah, I'm all good. All right, bring it over, mate. Come on, man, you killed me over here. I think I held my breath the entire five minutes. <laughs> Reynolds, keeping the pressure going right to the very last second. Yeah. To be honest with you, all that stands between you and the grand finale is this dish right here. How do you think you went today? Smoothly until I popped open that mold and realized the apple was meant to fill it. So these little minor things can send anyone home. But besides the shape, I think the texture is quite similar. Talk to me about winning. Why do you want to win this? Uh, um, before coming here, coming for this tasting, um, it's sucking in how important this is. I haven't had an easy life as an immigrant. Um, I'm not the kind of person to kind of talk um, too deep because I, I keep it in a little box to kind of back it away. So you'll never see me get emotional until I speak about it. Um, my mum and dad were both very hard workers, my brothers as well. Yeah, it's one of those things like, no matter how hard my family works, there's always something that kind of knocks us down. Take a moment, take a moment. Yeah, I hate take, this. Take a, take yeah. a moment, take a deep breath. Yeah. yeah. Um, like, we do have koi. People think it's successful. It is. It's great. I guess there were moments the way we took the success for granted. Um, I'm not going to go too into much details and now there's a lot of things that we're trying to keep our head up high. Try to maintain our image. People see it as like, our oh, dessert bar product is so great. But why is it we're still struggling? So that's the sad part about this business. It's like, hospitality industry has never been easy. I didn't come on here for the fame or anything like that. I came on here because I love to cook. The only thing I'm good at is not, <laughs> is not studying. I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> I, wi I really wish I was. Join the club, mate. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So winning is not about the title. It's more about like being able to give back to my, to my family. I've got to say, mate, it's inspiring to, to hear you open up about it. And there is no greater driving force than your family, especially at times like this, where obviously it's tough for, for your business and at this time in COVID, and it's, it's been tough for the industry as a whole, let alone uh, yeah. our pastry business. So I can only imagine. You made me emotional saying that. I mean, look, there is that part of um, what it means to be a migrant kid and to, to not feel like you fit in and to feel like you have to push against so much to get to where you are going. And I don't want you to forget the amount of people out there that will see you and see what's possible. Don't discount the hope that you give for everybody who is really pushing to realise a dream. It really has just been the most incredible thing to watch you up close and to really understand why you do what you do, because the motivator is, it's huge. Reynold, no matter what happens, mate, um, we are all extremely proud of you. The only thing left to do is test it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Reynold. Thank Thanks, Reynold. Thank you. Well, apart from the obvious tiny apple, I think the dish looks really, really lovely. 
the colours especially. Those raspberry twills look extremely good. And the stem as well just sticks out. It looks like a perfect, real apple stem, doesn't it? Even the way that he's cut it at a 45 degree angle, it looks like it's just been plucked off the tree. Very, very skilled work. But uh, the apple is a little bit smaller than what I put on the plate. How's it feel? Feels good. This is a big tasting, isn't it? There is so much writing on this mouthful of food. This is a big tasting, isn't it? At this end of the competition, it is point degrees of distinction between each of them. And I think however he got to the tiny apple, it still looked the business. It was glossy, it was shiny, it had some bite to it, which was really lovely. I had the small Persman pumpkin leaf and mine was really crunchy and really fantastic. The raspberry leaf, I think, has to be the best one of the day. Yeah, to make that raspberry the right acidity, is is a magic. Yeah. Where I got unstuck was the bitterness of the caramel. It wasn't as bitter as others. You just didn't get that with Reynolds. It was nice to start, but then it kind of, the sweetness took over. I think he really went hard on that caramel early and then it started to really burn around the outside and then he's diluted that with his sugar again and then it just hasn't got that same depth of bitterness all the way through. The issue is when you don't make the caramel bitter enough, it becomes lollipop sweet. When you were explaining a dish to the guys this morning, you spelt it out quite clearly. Salty, sweet, bitter, sour, umami. Has to be balanced. And the caramel here is really one of two sticking points for me. I think for me it was just the leaves. Well, as you've seen, it was bending. Yeah. It was more like a, a fruit leather than it was a leaf. At the end of the day, it is another excellent dish, but there are uh, some differences here compared to the other two for me, for sure. Reynold is certainly a perfectionist. You can see that in the way he works. Mm. And sometimes he probably overthinks it from what I was seeing by just changing slight things out of the recipe that... Trust the process. Exactly. So we always knew that the pumpkin leaves are the ones that will, will bring you down if they do. Um, and he had a small apple as well. Yeah. Yeah.